How's it going everybody? It's Rutech. Today we're going over how to install Windows 11 onto a new PC. It's a very, very simple process and I've broken it down into just a few steps. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Our first step is getting Windows 11 onto a USB drive. To do this, you'll need an external Windows device, being a laptop or a desktop PC. You will also need a USB drive that is at least 8GB in size. You'll want to plug this USB drive into your computer. Once you've done that, you'll want to head to the browser and type in Windows 11 ISO. You'll then click on the first link on the Microsoft website. I'll also have this link in my description. When the page is loaded, you'll want to scroll down and find the download button beneath Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click Download Now. It's a pretty small file, so it'll download quickly. Once it's ready, you can run the file. You can then click Yes to allow it to make changes to your device. When it loads up the program, it'll ask you about the applicable notices and license terms, and you'll want to accept. It'll then do a decent bit of loading, and then take you to this page. Make sure your preferred language is selected, and then click Next. Also ensure that you're installing Windows onto the USB flash drive and not creating an ISO file, and then click Next. And lastly, verify that this is the USB drive that you put into your computer, and click Next one final time. Now it will put the installation media onto that USB drive, and this can take up to 10 minutes. It will of course then let you know when it's finished, and then you'll want to click the Finish button. Now, when you go to the File Explorer and view the drive's contents, it should look like this. Now that Windows 11 is installed onto the drive, you can remove it from your computer. Now we're on step two, which is using that drive to install Windows onto the new PC. Here's a fresh, newly built PC setup. You're going to plug the USB drive into the USB port and then click the power button. After a good few seconds, you'll go through the motherboard loading screen and then you should be greeted by this Windows prompt. Make sure all these settings are correct and then click next and install now. Here, we're gonna click I don't have a product key because we'll put that in later. Select Windows 11 Home or Pro. It doesn't really matter as long as it's one of these two. Read and memorize every single applicable notice and license term and then recite it to yourself accurately 10 times and then click custom install Windows only. You'll then want to select the drive you're installing Windows onto which should be an SSD these days and then you can click next. Windows will then install and then take you to its setup where you'll put your login info and country and all those good things. And now we're on our final step, which is purchasing and activating Windows. Head over to your browser and type in digitalchillmart.com. Link for this will also be in my description. Go to their home page and locate Windows 11 Home or Pro, depending on what you selected during installation. Since I went with Windows 11 Pro, I'm gonna click that and then add it to my cart. Once you're at checkout, there is one final step, which is entering the coupon code RUTECH. This will get you a pretty solid discount on top of the already really good price for Windows 11. Now you might be wondering, why Digital Chill Mart? Why should I get my license key from this website instead of a different one or off of eBay? Well, I first wanna say this is actually the fifth year that I've been promoting Digital Chill Mart on Rutech, which is actually unbelievable to me, but it really goes to show that this is a really good company. And I've noticed that I've really never gotten any complaints from any of my viewers that have purchased from them. And if there ever was a problem, that Digital Chill Mart resolved it almost immediately. Also, the prices are unbeatable. If you were to buy a Windows key directly from Microsoft, you'd be paying around $100. To put it simply, Digital Digital Mart is truly the best place to get Windows 10 and 11 licensed keys, and the link is down in the description. So that will wrap up today's Windows 10 installation guide video. I tried making this as short, but also not as rushed as possible because I didn't want the video to drag out. It's a very simple process, and honestly, the video shouldn't be any longer than five minutes. So it seems like I met that goal. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like. And of course, if you have any comments or questions regarding the process or Digital Chill Mart, please leave a comment below. And as always, if you enjoy the content you're seeing, I would really appreciate a sub. Thanks for watching. Peace out.